Hello? Hello, nigga, can you hear me? Nigga, can you hear Nikki, baby? <laughs> nigga, Santa is in town. Nigga, come and say hello to Father Christmas. Come, let me give you light. Nigga, Santa want to give you 24 hours electricity in your area. Nigga, you know when you are quiet, it turns me on. You sound down. Nigga, talk to Santa. Okay, okay, you need some cash. Just some little token. Bielo, how much? 400 million naira. <laughs> All right, we have with us, I, I'm sure you've seen that video, so you already know who we have in the studio. We have La Sisi Akoma Lafe Olara Waju Osmana Kombi Peters, as he likes to introduce himself sometimes. I'm sure you didn't see that coming. I actually did. <laughs> so please, you have to do that intro for us again, okay? How do you usually introduce yourself when you want to do that, your debate? <laughs> Hello, everybody. Like, see, see here again. Oh, you, okay, you want me to do this? I will still do that one, but oh, okay. I'll do the Joshua Combi Peters oh. one. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, Hackley Timekeeper, co-debater, my fellow audience. My name is Laisi Olani Waju Usmona Kambi Joshua Peters, and I'm in SS2B. Stay tuned. <laughs> it's always a delight to have you. Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank well, you now, so much. Between the time, the last time that you came and now, there's been such a massive growth True. in your career. First of all, congratulations on clocking one million followers on Instagram. Yeah. How did that make you feel? Felt like a boss. You're a mm -hmm. boss, actually. Felt like I was in control. That there's been so much that's happened in your life. You know, you've yeah. done jobs, I'm seeing gigs, you've become, you signed deals and contracts. But more importantly, the last time you came on our show was like your official unveiling for True. the world to see your face without True. the Snapchat True. filter. So let's chronicle your journey from that time up until now. How has people now steady seeing your face? How has it impacted your career, positively or negatively? Mm, positively, of course. I think the negative part of it is just, you know, small things, things that can always be, um, that are normal, that would happen typically with anybody who, um, who's um, um, into, you know, limelight and fame. Um, it's been good. Um, a lot of, I think it sort of opened um, a pathway to some sort of um, um, recognition. A lot of times before I unveiled my face, I think brands were not really comfortable with the idea of um, partnering with someone who they did not even know. Some didn't mind, but I, I felt there was need for that to actually let people know this is the person behind, you know, this identity. Some people around the world have tried it. It worked for them. And um, other people said it was not the best move that I should have kept the identity for a while longer. But what but, do you um, think? At the time, I felt it was the right move, um, considering um, a lot of people were already, um, I think, toying with the idea that my identity was private and they had the opportunity to make it um, public so they could do certain things to influence that. And I didn't like the idea. I felt it would be better if I would do the unveiling and um, people could know me for me as to my terms. So I figured um, I just had to come out at the time I did. And it was, it's was it been good all, ever since. It okay. really has. So still on the growth of your career, I noticed that you do inspirational and motivational speaking in a way now. Because yes. I actually attended the Leave Your Dreams Africa okay. uh, conference also yeah. last year. Yeah. And you gave a very great talk. Mm. Now, every time you do that, like, how, what's the acceptance been like for you? We are Nigerians. Everybody likes a success story. Mm. And um, it's typical for, it's one thing to say the usual, back in the, see, back in the days eh, when I used to have money, people don't want to hear that. Mm. But the moment they are seeing testimonies, they are seeing mm. you telling a story of how you started, how far you have come and where you are, you know, it gives them some sort of meaning that mm. theirs can be like that or better. So. Yes, every time I go to conferences and I, you know, give speeches, I, I see people having that hope in their eyes that, oh, in a space of one year, Lassisi attained this level. In a space of six months, Lassisi grew from this to that. So it's a thing of you can also do that if you're dedicated, you're diligent, you spend a lot of time, you know what you want, you do not allow side talks to distract you, your focus and all of those talks, you know, people feel like this is actually possible. It's not like I, I'm still growing. I haven't even gotten to where I want to yet, but 
is a sign that I have made progress. I have transited from one point to another. Mm. So people also see that, oh, it's, this is not an impossible thing. I can also achieve it. So yes, the acceptance has been impeccable. Speaking of making progress, at the last time you came, you know, we celebrated you saying that, oh, you, you blew, quote unquote, in four months. Now it's, it's over a little over a year and over. your brand has become a global brand. First of all, were you prepared for the amount of fame that you now see? And how are you able to manage it? What are the upsides and downsides of being the famous Lassisi brand that you are? Mm, preparation. I actually didn't prepare. But it's more like an on-the-job training. So I've gained every form of... Um, I've learned on... You know, sometimes I give speeches. My first speech was not like the last one I went for. You understand? So... I have grown over time. So I was not well prepared for the whole, um, what's it called? Um, celebrity lifestyle. Celebrity mm -hmm. lifestyle. If I say I was, I was prepared, I wasn't really prepared. It's just like someone saying, I want this. Then you have it and you're like, ah, I didn't know I really wanted this, you know. So I want it, I like it, but I didn't know it would happen in that period of time. Apparently, I was thinking, oh, as time goes on, little by little, I will get there, and then I'll be used to the whole idea, and it will be more con convenient for but me. But then 1.3 million but followers happen. One, which 3 point? They don't start to. They don't start to. <laughs> they don't start to. 3.8 followers. 1.3. That's her 3.3 followers. No, it's 1.3, she said. But even if I said 3.3, you should take it prophetically. It's not. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't. That's your bad. That's on you. Uh -uh. No, no, no. You should reload. You can't. Don't do that. Okay, what will happen if you get to 3.3 followers after? Before um, the middle of the year, what would happen? Don't rush me. <laughs> don't rush me. Nothing will happen, but don't rush me. Okay. okay. Let's, be, let's be taking this thing step by step. Uh. I like the spaniels I'm crossing it, but I like the composure. <laughs> I don't want to bring it down. Uh, let me change it. Good, they good. Before they I, say something, kill him. I now. really appreciate Compose that you are doing what is good for your leg. You know. So as I was saying, and as she was listening, see, see, I'm from, you know, back in London, yeah? Okay, let me That's know. How many that. personalities do you have? So we're seeing now that you're beyond Bra La Sisi, beyond La Sisi, we'll come to Bra <laughs> you, you started exploring the personality of his certain Zadi. Mm. How many other personalities do you have, or how many other personalities do you plan to explore? As... I get inspired. I have done the poetry. Mm. I have uh, a lot of poetry, though. We've tried the poetry. We've tried Pablo, which is friends with... Um, uh, what's his name again? Imagine, I don't forget them. Mm. We've tried... <laughs> we've tried... We've tried the uh, last year, Leonard Joshua Peters, as you know, who is the debater in school. We have tried the Zadi and the Nike. We have tried um, the normal Lassisi, who is the regular Ranta. And um, we've also gone to, I uh, can't remember. But as for me, some of these things are not, pre are not planned. They are pre-planned. It might just be something that I get and I say, oh, okay, I think I can make this work. So, yes. So, so far, I can't say categorically. Hmm, that thing just sounded very, kind of very cliche, as categorically. But categorically speaking... I, I feel as time goes on, there will be more personalities that will be introduced to the last CC concept. Was, was there concept. A, a personal experience concerning your creation of Zadi? Oh, trust me. I have I've heard stories. Oh. I've heard stories. Okay. A lot of people tell me um, when I make these videos, they think it is my own experience. No, it's not. I never reached that level. Are okay. you planning when to get I, to that level? Well, jokes apart, though, have you ever been criticized? For those videos, you know, maybe people telling you, are you encouraging the zaddy ship? Mm -hmm. It's not about encouraging anything. Whether I encourage or not encourage, you go beef. Which ones am I encouraging? No, 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 no. You cannot remove it from the reality. There would always be someone out there, married or not, who would take certain likeness towards a younger person. It is not my doing. It is a reality. Mm. And we know. And... I have female friends who would call me and say funny things. Can you, even when I was in school, you would, yes, there are lecturers who, trust me, we, 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 we know people who have abused power over time because they feel they have some sort of power. And men that you would normally respect in society, when you see them in that level, then you now understand that, okay, this is the power of a woman. You know, when I was in school, I had an experience of a classmate or a friend from another department who would, show me a series of text messages. When um, she gets a call, she'll put it on speakerphone, and the way 
a man when we they fear. If you miss in class, now you know how you want to pass. Would he talk to this girl? And I go to see him. The same man with white baby. You understand? So over time I have seen and experienced those things in different levels. So I, you know, love the idea. Even all of these times, I didn't think about it until one day it just came to me. I was in a car making a video, and that was my first. I didn't even retake it. It was just once, and it kept on coming because I remembered all of these things I have heard over time, and I just put it out there. And mm -hmm. I felt like, funny enough, most of my followers are females, are the, you know, the, the female gender, and um, a lot of them can, can also relate to it. From the comment section, you can tell someone will say, oh, ah, I know somebody like this. Oh, ah, have you forgotten they're tagging your friend saying, do you remember how that man that time said this? Do you remember how all of that? You know, so it's, 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 it is so, it is so awesome, you know, and it's, it's something I feel like everyone on every level can relate to, okay. man or woman. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So um, what's the plan for the La CC brand? And what, where do you see yourself in the next five, ten years? We know you've explored several things. Now, what's, what some people don't know, if you watched our last interview, he started out with singing and his brand name was Nature. Yeah. I actually was going to ask him about yes. that. What's happening with music, basically? Music is there. Okay. You know, I don't want to be one of those who just um, want to do everything at the same time. I think thinking things through would always um, help um, um, getting better results. So I want to take my time. I don't want to be just, you know, doing music, doing this, and I'm scattered. I don't, I'm not precise and coincise. So with time, music is my first love. It still is before the birth, the, the birth of La Cici Eleno. So I think over time, I probably would still consider music at some point. Okay, well, still looking at, you know, what your plans are for the next few years. Do you have them figured out yet, or you're just taking it a step at a time? I can't say I have a plan figured out now. Who am I? <coughs> do you know what your tomorrow holds? Am I God? Do you know? <laughs> According to Madiba, do I know? I didn't know. What are you saying yeah, like this? Yeah, so before they cut, cut that, I didn't so, know. So I'm only trying to sound like Lassisi. <laughs> You're they say, not trying to sound oh, like me. Oh, you are sounding like personality you. personality cannot speak English. It's Lassisi and mimicking people of God. So, I, well, to, sorry to cut you. To answer that question, yeah. I, well, of course, I have an idea of what I want to do and what I want, what I want to achieve. I look forward to doing, um, um, I, want, I love movies. Before now, I never thought I would do it, but um, I think the love is constantly increasing. Oh, yeah. So I would feature in um, some movies from this year, hopefully, hopefully, and also a TV series. And um, I know it's going to be good. I look forward to working with more brands. I look forward to partnering with so many people. And um, I'm pretty certain and positive that I'm the, in the end, I will smile. Before you go, how is Brasha going? And what's up with Can it? Can you please? Uh -uh. Just please, can we just wrap it up? And Why? Not? No. Well, we can't talk about you without talking about him now. I don't understand. Uh uh. Why do you assume I don't understand? We twins. Which time no, you say? You, you know why now. So tell okay. us about him. We, we, you would definitely have to explain to us what happened with Brashago. But first of all, congratulations on your nomination for the Future Awards. Yes. And also noble of you to have picked up the award for Mark Angel. Yes. So I'm going to ask <laughs> you who are your favorite comedians? Mm. And trick question. What is the worst thing you've seen in your DM that is TV worthy? Hmm. The one you can see on TV. Worst thing I've seen on TV, on, in my DM. Yeah, that is TV worthy. That is TV worthy. Hmm. As you talk that TV worthy, you get sense. <laughs> Dog will not bite your child. Amen. <laughs> if he bites and go, your bite and smile. He will not bite my child. <laughs> Dog, children can go anywhere and dog can be. Oh, yeah, he will not bite, he will not bite my child. Uh, <laughs> TV worthy, TV worthy. While you're thinking of that, your favorite comedians? Ah, uh, I love Frank Donga. He has oh. this personality, calm at the same time, intellectual, sends in a short period of time, sends so much message and you're like, okay, I love him. I love, um, my head is blank right now. MC Lively is awesome. MC Lively. Call him before he will kill you. Le <laughs> Le I will not even call him. You should have called him. I'm not calling him. You've actually called him call already, him. so forget it. I will not it. call him. It's already on record. Like, I'm not calling you. Uh -uh. He's texting me. My phone is vibrating. I will not text. <laughs> I will not reply to you. I will just call you. Lively is a, is a lovely person. You know, um, Shaggy. Bra Shaggy is also... You know, I've worked with these people personally, so I can see that their personality and, um, you know, outside of, um, you know, character is lovely and the work they put out is also good. Um, who else? Who else? I love Wuli Agba. <laughs> I love those guys so much. Daily and the father. 
I love Woli Arule, all of those people. I love Maraji. She's also doing so good. Ati yeah. Bebe Lo. Ati Bebe Lo. ATC. ATC. So the worst thing you've seen in your DM t that is TV worthy. Can you remember anything off the top of your head? Honestly, the worst thing, I think people being rude. Mm. Yeah, people being extremely rude. And like, what do you do to them when they are rude to you? I actually don't respond. I actually just see it and I just move on. Some people are extremely bitter and I feel for them. Someone would just come. Someone, I think, I even saw one, I think two days ago, he just came to my DM and said, he called me all sorts of names, stupid, foolish, mm -hmm. said all sorts of terrible things and was like, talk about me, so I'll be popular, you, something, something, useless, he's call um, social media, sh do I, just a lot of English. Mm. <laughs> I, I want to reply, I say, how do I know you before? You know me. Uncle wants to use you and blue. Why be enter me? Like I think at the end of the day, the summary of things like that is that hurt people hurt people. All right. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank We're you going for to be wrapping me. the conversation with the Lassisi Rant. You can follow at Lassisi Eleno. We are wrapping up the show with his rants. Mm. Okay. <laughs> this will be quick and short. I won't say so much. I won't talk much. But once in a while. Be listening to your innermost mind. Yesterday, my generator was bad. I called the guy, say, come and check it for me. He came. As he came, I went outside to meet him. He said, ah, Baba, don't worry, go inside. I said, okay, do your thing. Few minutes later, ah, he knocked on the door. What's up? Ah, are you done? He said, no. What's the matter? He said, he won't lie to me. His stomach is disturbing him. He want to look for one bush nearby, a nearby bush, to just do his thing. I say no. Why? When I get house, mumu me, <laughs> mumu me. He say he want to look for bush. I would have just said okay, but my mind was, let Insta blog not go and say, fast rising Instagram sensation. Last season sends mechanic to the bush where he belongs. I say where? Come in. The first door to your right. I'm listening to music. All of a sudden, the music stopped. What's happening? <laughs> I'm, okay, no, what's happening? The next thing, my heart started to pepper me. I said, ah, what's going on? What's happening? Okay, I say, okay, let's like, calm down. It's normal. Maybe, funny enough, lights, every, no. It came out. Lo and behold, that, sh I don't want to say this thing, but it belongs to the bush. And I allowed him to use my toilet. Since that day, I've been buying air freshener. No one has worked. If you know any air freshener you can suggest, holla me, my dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.